Now at 5.30, Boston lays out its Amazon bid, trying to entice the online retail giant to call our city its next home. The competition is stiff. Good evening, everybody. I'm Leah Martin. And I'm Katie Brayson for Paula tonight. The city proposes Amazon take over the former Suffolk Down site. But as WBZ's Christina Hager shows us, reaction from the neighborhood is mixed. For decades, this was the view from East Boston's Orient Heights neighborhood overlooking the Suffolk Downs racetrack. This is the view from those backyards today. And this is the view the city envisions in its newly released offer for Amazon to bring its second headquarters to Suffolk Downs. Anything with, with life and vibrancy like Amazon headquarters and the rest of the campus with restaurants and hotels, that's got to be better than an empty pocket lot. John Nucci has seen failed attempts to breathe new life into the old track, including plans for a casino the neighborhood killed. This has been forever a neighborhood around the racetrack. It has, and it's always been a residential neighborhood with families. Um, I don't see that changing to any great degree. And I think we should have a right to vote on it. Not all of a sudden, oh, Amazon's going to move in. Who gave them the right? Not only would the feel of this neighborhood change with Amazon, but it would have to go through structural changes in order for the company to operate. Improvements with the roadway and looking at and pedestrian crossings. Uh, you know, um, you don't have w w the side of Suffolk Downs to get over to the other side of the road is difficult. So, I mean, there's a lot of connections we can make there. The city released its 218 page proposal as the midnight deadline struck. It includes two slick video clips, but the city has to get through this neighborhood first. Fix it up so the horses can come back. A company that's taken over the world of online sales. Could have its toughest sell yet if it sets its sights here. In East Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News.